spell. Speaking of strike Ooh. zone, Arkansas teams were striking out tonight. They I were definitely uh, attacking. That's maybe the best way to put it because yeah. it went from scares to yay. <laughs> <laughs> Upset galore, huge wins for a couple of natural state schools. We're going to talk about ASU and UAM over UAPB. Plus, we're going to the Hill for a live report as the Razorbacks get a huge win. All that and more next in the Razorbacks. See your Arkansas Select Buick Pontiac GMC dealers. From KARK4 Sports, this is your Razorback Nation Report, powered by your Central Arkansas Honda dealers. Well, we're going to get to the Hill in just a second because big things were happening in Fayetteville today. Now, earlier this week, Arkansas State head football coach Steve Roberts said his team doesn't look at the season opener with Texas A&M as David versus a Goliath. And today in College Station, the Red Wolves didn't play like an underdog either. They actually get the win. They upset Texas A&M in their own place. They win 15 18 to 14, excuse me. We're going to have, hopefully, we're going to look, look at some highlights of those coming up a little bit later. Now, UAPB, they've got a new coach. They're starting a new era as well, hosting Division II in state opponent UA Monticello. Let's get to the highlights of that one. Of course, there's always a great band at Pine Bluff. But we're going to start with the Bull Weevil. Scott Busson with a great touch pass to Johnny Polite, and he politely puts Monticello on top, 7 to 0. They would add one more score, be up 14 to nothing. Third quarter, the Lions finally get on the board. Jonathan Moore finds Anthony Abram. UAPB cuts the lead in half, but they wouldn't get any closer. Monticello with the upset over Division I AA opponent. The Bowl Weevils win this one 21-7. to Harding not so lucky in their season opener. The Bison fall to Missouri Southern 45-31 to today. Finally, we're going to go to the Travs score. The Travs actually lose today. They've taken on Springfield. Their season will end this week. They have playoffs coming up next week. But, of course, the whole thing right now is all about the Razorbacks. It's insane. They actually pulled this win off. They were down much of the time. I know you were probably listening to the radio. I know. We it had scary. it out in the newsroom, and it's the typing, and then it's, oh, are you kidding? And then typing, oh, are you kidding? And then a little bit of hope, a little bit of hope, a little bit of hope, and finally. Well, the good news about any kind of sports is mm -hmm. all you need is a little bit of hope to get the W. <laughs> That's definitely they win this the one 28 to 24. It was a very big win because they had to gut it out. They had to continue fighting. They had to do, you know, what they had to do to win. And that's, you know, workmanlike effort, but a W is a W when it all comes down to it. And I can't imagine the pressure because you've got this brand new coach. All eyes want to see, you know, you've got a very fresh young team that had some problems, people getting in trouble leading up to today. That just always seems to happen when the Razorbacks are trying to get to the field for that first day of play. And then finally, they get here and are able to put it all together. Absolutely. Well, you know what? We've got everything ready. We're about to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Razorbacks win. I know. We built it up that way. <laughs> Razorbacks win 28 to 24. Here's the highlight. Bobby Petrino running through the A for the very first time as the era begins. But things were rocky from the very, very start. As true freshman, uh-oh, Elton Ford fumbles the opening kickoff and Western Illinois recovers. Now the Arkansas defense would hold, but when the Hogs did get the ball back, this new offense was riddled with mistakes. Lucas Miller can't make the catch, and it's intercepted by Western Illinois. They lead the game three zip, by the way. Arkansas's offense only had nine total yards after the first quarter of play. But in the second quarter, Casey Dick found a little rhythm. 15 yards here to tight end DJ Williams, who is a big part of tonight's game. Then a little slant route to the true freshman Joe Adams. Touchdown, Arkansas. That caps up a 10-play, 81-yard drive. Hogs lead it 7-3. But throughout the game, Arkansas's offensive line could not block the Leathernecks. Four sacks in the first half alone. Dick was hurried all night. This, while the defense was getting gashed by the Western Illinois running game, Herb Donaldson was all over the place, including this three-yard touchdown. And it was 10-7 to Western Illinois at halftime. Second half, more problems for Arkansas's defense. Matt Barr, 12-yard touchdown pass to who else? Herb Donaldson. And they lead it 17-7, to but... Back come the Razorbacks. One of two great catches on the night for Lucas Miller. 
first down Arkansas. Then the freshman, Joe Adams, huge hit, but hangs on to the ball. That's another first down. Then the unlikely run by quarterback Casey Dick makes a move right, gets a block by London Crawford, 23 yards. That's his longest scramble of his career and the very first rushing touchdown of his career. Arkansas down 17-14, but another turnover would help the Leathernecks score yet again. They take a 24 14 fourth quarter lead. The fans are getting anxious. Arkansas would answer, though, with a nine play, 73 yard drive. Dick, 26 yards to Greg Childs. Touchdown, 24 21. Arkansas down just three. Now, with the final drive and everything on the line, fourth and 10. Forget the field goal, they're going for it. Casey Dick thinks about running it, but no, completes the pass to Carlton Salters, 33 yards, a huge first down, and that would set up yet another touchdown run for Casey Dick, four yards to the left side, an unlikely way to save what would be a huge upset, but Arkansas holds on and wins it, 28 to 24, the final. And then, you know, like I said before, what I was so impressed with was everyone there, everyone cheering, everybody behind us. You know, I didn't hear any boos, and, and I wanted to boo myself one time. So uh, that was a great thing. Huh? Which time? <laughs> Thanks, Clay. Thanks a lot. We, once we got going in the passing game, we got going and got going. Uh, you know, when we went to empty, uh, the empty formation with all the receivers out there, we were able to get what we wanted with, you know, uh, coverages and stuff. And we were able to get a bunch of people open, and we just had to take advantage of it. Amazing. Awesome. Yeah, Amazing. you know, a win's a win. Yeah. And I know everybody wants more. Yes. That's what the pink trail is for tomorrow night. You can be sure to tune in then. All right, Aaron. Thanks so much.